Hey there, today I'm going to be demonstrating the setup and configuration of Site Recovery Manager with our latest SRA 4.0 for ActiveDR. So the first step in this process is to install the SRA itself. You can download the SRA from the VMware Cloud Marketplace. There is a supported version for Linux, Photon, and Windows. So you want to upload the uh, SRA, this is the Photon version, into each SRM server. So you're going to do this twice, once for each SRM server. Let the, the, the plugin install. Now in a Windows version of this, it's going to be an executable that you can run and install on the Windows server for Site Recovery Manager. Once these are, installs are completed, confirm it on both SRM servers, and then you can move back to the vSphere client interface. They're all installed and ready to go, and we have 4.0.0. Now the next step is to go into Site Recovery Manager itself. So using the menu, you can go to Site Recovery and choose your site pair. From there, we'll log into the management interface of this particular pair. And we're going to rescan so SRM can see that these new storage adapters have been installed. So you're going to want to rescan both SRM servers directly as seen on the screen. When this rescan is complete, both SRM servers will pick up the fact that these SRAs have been installed and go to the OK status. The next step is to configure the array managers. This is what tells the SRA what arrays to connect to. So I have the 4.0 SRA, choose that one, give your site a name, and then enter in the source flash array or multiple flash arrays if you have multiple in your source site and the credentials that are accessible to all the arrays you specified in the source address. This can be storage admin level writes or array admin level writes. For ActiveDR you're going to want array admin level writes for that user. Enter in the target array or target arrays in your target data center. And I'm going to fix my name in my array manager. Now on the other side of this pair, so the other SRM server, I'm going to do the opposite and configure it in the exact opposite way as before. So the arrays that are local to my remote site go in the local arrays. In this case, there's just one array with the credentials. And then my peer arrays, or target arrays in this case, are the ones that are local to the other side. So this is the exact opposite of configuration of that first screen. So this will configure the equivalent array managers on both SRM servers. And this will return all the valid array pairs that it sees. This will return not only physical array pairs, but also pod to pod relationships. We'll go more into that in the next video when we start setting up ActiveDR. Thanks for watching.